Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Well, I often get asked by pro-GMO advocates, both vegan and non-vegans, like, why am I so anti-GMO? Why do I hate GMOs for? So I'm going to answer that for you here. And at the same time, I'm going to address some questions posed by Hank Green. Remember him? I responded to his video, which was about, like, why does he find vegetarians and vegans so annoying? Because, you know, he admitted we're doing all these things that are great for the environment, great for the planet, but he himself can't give up his precious bacon to make those first steps. Anyway, that aside, let's see some of what Hank said here. If you live in the United States, you almost certainly eat genetically modified organisms. So yeah, Hank is totally right there. If you're an American, you know, you're probably having corn, soy, um, products made with canola and alfalfa. These are Monsanto patented GMO foods and that's what I hate about GMOs. Whoever asked us, the American food buying public, to have our regular non-GMO food sources replaced by genetically modified organism food and not even have it be labeled as such. So, so your normal person just goes to the store and buys the stuff and everyone thinks about it. That sucks. Genetic engineering is necessary for the continued success of the human experiment here on planet Earth. What? I just laugh and get pissed when I hear this type of comments down in the comments are from Hank here that GMO products are necessary. We need Monsanto and other GMO companies to engineer more GMO foods to save the human species from extinction. Well, the fact is already that we make more than enough food many times over to feed every human on the planet as it is. The problem is this food, most of it goes to feed animals. Yeah, so we can have our steak and bacon and dairy and cheese and all that. But if we gave it to humans, there'd be no more hunger whatsoever. But where do they get this belief that we need to feed this growing, hungry world? Well, Monsanto says they have better crop yields with GMO products. Look at it right here on their own website. Well. The USDA, which is actually a very conservative entity beholden to these GMO companies, even in their own research says that they find no significant increase in any benefit from having GMO seeds rather than using regular non-GMO seeds as far as crop yields are concerned. Unfortunately, what the USDA did find, and this is yet another reason why I hate GMOs, the farmers that are using GMO crops sprayed significantly more herbicide. I'm talking about Monsanto's Roundup onto their crops, about a th at least a 33% increase. So that makes complete sense. That's Monsanto's whole scam here. They, they sell you this really expensive GMO seed, which is built to withstand the spraying of um, Roundup on it. And they make tons of money selling farmers tons and tons of Roundup, more so than ever before. And that's what you're getting when you're buying GMO food. You're getting food that's been basically bathed in herbicide its whole life. Gross. <gasps> Why are GMOs bad? They're not. They just aren't, not intrinsically, and certainly not for your health. We've been eating them for decades with no ill effects. No ill effects? How do you know this, Hank? As the British Medical Association rightly points out, they're concerned that there really hasn't been enough studies on humans, particularly on the long-term effects on health and the environment. Yeah, there's been lots of studies done on animals, but really not much done on people. So how do we really know that there's no ill effects? Even the New England Journal of Medicine cautions that there needs to be more research done on anticipated allergens and toxins. Unfortunately, these concerns have pretty much gone unheeded. Well, in addition to all the long-term human health concerns and environmental concerns about GMOs, what I really dislike about GMOs is they taste like crap. And I'm not blaming that on their genetics. You could have really good genetics, but grow it in a really poor manner, like how GMO foods are grown, bathed in herbicides and pesticides and really not grown in the greatest, richest soils. You're going to produce an inferior food product, meaning one that tastes worse and has fewer nutrients in it too. You don't believe me? Go out to a good restaurant, guys. I'm talking a good one, not like Arby's or something. I'm talking about like a five-star restaurant or any kind of starred Michelin restaurant. And you show me any one of them that proudly carries, here's some GMO corn. They won't. Why? Because these restaurants care about flavor and taste. And you're not going to find that in foods grown in such crappy conditions. You want stuff grown in really good soil, not sprayed to death. GMO foods suck. Let me give you one last parting thought here for for you. Why I hate GMOs. Why is it that Monsanto and the other GMO tech companies fight tooth and nail, spend millions and millions of dollars trying to fight any attempt 
for states to label foods as GMO foods. Well, think about it. If GMO foods were actually better for you than regular foods, Monsanto, yeah, this is cool. We want our foods to be labeled because ours are more desirable. They're better than regular foods, but they're probably the only brand in the world that doesn't want its name, its brand associated with its product. Think about that. Imagine buying an Apple or Samsung or anything and they just, no, don't put our name on it. Just make it blank and generic. Make it look like everything else. It shows you Monsanto knows something's up. You know. So anyway, post your questions and comments down below. What do you think of GMO foods? Do you still like them? Do you think, really, let me know down below why is it that you believe that we need to have GMO foods in order to sustain the human species and we would perish without them. I think that's the silliest, craziest argument I've ever seen, unless you're a Monsanto employee. In that case, don't comment. I'll ban you. And um, hit like if you got some out of this video and share it with a friend who's totally pro-GMO and thinks we have to have them or we're all going to die. And subscribe for more from me and Angie here at Happy Healthy Vegan. So until next time, keep it carved on organic whole food plants. And big shout outs to Krista G, Garrett, and Astrid. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting us on patreon.com slash happy healthy vegan. It all goes to help support our show, which is not quite breaking even yet. And we give you lots of cool rewards along the way here. So check us out, patreon.com happy healthy vegan. Thank you.